Hello YouTube, Conductor165 here. Today I will be reviewing and running the Tomy Trapmaster Spencer. This model was first released by Playrail in 2004 with the Duke and Duchess's coach. I will show you that in video later. It was then released by Motor Road and Rail in 2005, which was the same as the one on screen now. Basically it stayed the same white and with the coach. There was also another pack sold with Spencer, just with four straight track. Then the Trapmaster Hit Toy Company in 2007 would release it, but with two half straights of the new style of track as shown on screen now. Then Spencer was also sold in that same era, just with the Duke and Duchess's coach. And... Tommy Trapmaster would release in Europe this Spencer in 2008 with the coach again. Then Trapmaster would also release this same Spencer, same white, but they would release it with what they called this brake van. Now I don't know about you, but this seems like a very strange brake van. It reminds me of a toad brake van as shown on screen now, but in my opinion it feels very American. Like a caboose, if you will. But, let me just put this against Spencer. Imagine buying Spencer, and that's behind him. That does not make sense. Why would Spencer be sold with a brake van? Is his tender a coal truck now? It just doesn't make sense, in my opinion. But yes, um, it was sold with this. I have quite a few of these, but if I ever did run my Trapmaster trains, which I do on the end of these videos... I would not run it with this in my opinion just because it wouldn't fit in it wouldn't look right but for the sake of this video i will include it in the running clip at the end of the video now trapmaster would also release spencer again but without the brake van as shown screen now again bringing him back into frame and in 2010 it was then sold by fisher price and then Fisher Price also sold this Spencer again, but with one change. It became silver. Now, the silver livery on the Spencer makes it look more like the TV show. I will admit, it looks amazing. It shines in the light, because I'm using the light on the camera now. And you can see the whole tender and the whole engine, apart from the wheels, it shines silver. It is amazing and it is beautiful. And it was also, this would also be sold, this Silver Spencer, in 2012 by Playrail, with again, the coach. I'm showing on screen now, but I'll review it um, towards the end of this video. And in 2014, Trackmaster would release it, but with this new update, making them faster and climb steeper inclines with the new traction tyres. That Spencer would have a smaller tender, would keep the same silver livery as the one on screen now but would again have um, a faster motor and would run on two AAA batteries rather than one AA, as both of these do on screen now. Both of these run with one AA, whereas the more modern toys run with two AAAs. And in 2020, it was sold by Trapmaster Motorized Engine, and it was completely the same as the previous one. Now, throughout the years, Spencer has had, I believe, four variants. I could be wrong, it could be more. Comment down below if you know of any others. But from what I know, there's been these two Spencers, silver and white. And on screen now is Muddy Spencer and Snowy Spencer. I believe the snow and the mud can be removed. And I know there was a Gordon that went along with the set, which I'll talk about when I come to reviewing Trapmaster Gordon. But um, both of these mod, uh, I think that's the only different versions of them there was. I could be wrong about that. Now, going to my opinion, I will talk about the um, white Spencer first. The tender and cab have absolutely no detail. It makes sense. It's a child's toy. It's not meant to be highly detailed. But the tender looks like it's made for business it has no um door detail because there were walkthrough tenders um that do exist in real life one thing i do like about this though is that it it has like a copper buffer effect the buffers look like the copper when they're just painted you can see he has four rolling wheels and four dummy wheels 
and yeah, he's just again. Um, I I haven't cleaned him before the video. Wish I had. You can see his um name there. It's not very clear, but you can just make it out there. You got his face there. He's very proud to be pulling one single coach when he could probably manage twenty. There's the copper buffer effect again. There's a lot of molded detail, which, if it was a bit painted, then this model would be very attractive to the buyer. I mean, they even got the um, Class A4 cap design too, the pin effect on the cab here. They, they made an amazing toy here, and, and if I just put it straight on, you can see he is quite officially streamlined. He looks amazing. Now, going on to the other Spencer, there's no difference. It's just silver this time. One other difference I can point out is there's no copper, copper buffers, as seen with this Spencer here. Now, that's a minor detail. You, you can live without it. But yeah, this Spencer is the best of the two. I've just noticed now, though, it has no cab window stickers. This Spencer does. It's a bit off-placed, as you can see. But I just noticed that now it has no cab stickers, and that's meant to be like that. Because there's no remnants of one being there. This Spencer, again, runs on one AA battery, like the other one. But yeah, the only difference is it's silver this time. There is nothing else different, different about it. But yeah, it is, um, it is quite nice. Now, I said earlier in the video... I would review the coach and the brake van. Um, I've done the brake van. Here is the Duke and Duchess's coach. Now, this is, I believe, just slightly longer than the Trackmaster Annie and Clarabel. The wheels are closer to the middle than other coaches. And if you've noticed by the window design, it's actually a brake coach. Now, Trapmaster, I don't believe they made a brake coach for Gordon's Express. I could be wrong about that again. The coupling has seen better days, but it does still run and work well for the end video. But yeah, to have an actual brake coach in Trapmaster is interesting. And yeah, just imagining Spencer pulling this round. You can see underneath there, made in Thailand. But yeah, it's, it's, it's even got silver buffers too. And you can couple up more freight cars to the back, freight cars to the back of it. But yeah, um, that's pretty much the coach. There's nothing else to it. Um, I don't believe there was a composite coach, meaning a coach that wasn't a brake coach. But yeah, I believe that's the main history on Trapmaster Spencer. Now I will now be make. I'll be now showing you some videos of it running. Enjoy the compilation video, and thanks for watching.